Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this Mother's Day DIY, I would like to share with you how I created a chandelier using a pool noodle and a hula hoop. If you would like to see what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using a white pool noodle that I found at my local Dollar Tree and I'll be cutting into it just to open it up. Once I was done, I put it aside. Next, I'll be using a 20 inch hula hoop and I'm only going to cut and remove the wrapper where it connects. I also remove the pebbles that are inside. Next I'll bring back my pool noodle and I'll place the hula hoop inside. I found that it's much easier to do it this way than to take the hula hoop and start pushing it inside the hole of the pool noodle. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be applying hot glue on both sides to hold it in place. I use painter's tape to hold it in place while it's drying. Next, I'll be using a six inch half styrofoam ball and I'll use my ruler to place a line in the center by pressing down gently. Next, I'll take my ruler and I'll place a mark in one and a half inches on both sides. Next, I'll be using my soldering iron without the attachment to make the holes on both sides. Next, I'll take my styrofoam ball and I'll take the ends of the hoop and I'll place them inside the holes of the styrofoam ball with the flat part facing up. I apply a generous amount of hot glue to hold it in place. Next, I'll fill in the empty spaces with pool noodles that I cut to size. I'll be covering up the open spaces with white duct tape. I took poster board and cut out two leaf shapes and I'll be gluing them to cover up the empty spaces. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next I took gold diamond wrap and I cut them into strips and I'll be gluing them on to cover those imperfections. I'll be covering this part as well. I repeated the same steps on the opposite side. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know you enjoy videos like this. 
Next, I took more strips of diamond wrap and I'll be gluing them on the side of the pool noodle going around. Next, I'll be using assorted acrylic gold diamonds and I'll be gluing them around the pool noodle and the empty areas in no particular order. I repeated the same steps on the opposite side. Next, I'll use my box cutter because I need to make an incision so I'll be able to hang it. Next, I took a book ring and I placed it inside and then I glued it in place. I took a plant chain and spray painted in gold and then I hooked it on. Next I'll be using these clear bowls and they come two in a pack. Next I'll be using my soldering iron to cut the bottom on only one. Once I was done I glued them both together. I also added diamond wrap on the top, middle, and bottom. I hang my chandelier to make it easier to glue it on. Next, I'll be using two LED remote touch lights. I cut the bottom part flat to make it easier to glue on one of the lights underneath. I took the second touch light and placed it inside. Next I took beaded crystals and I cut them into different lengths and I'll be gluing them underneath the styrofoam. Next I'll be using hibiscus floral garden and these come in 4 feet and I'll be using 3 packs. Next, I took all three packs outside and I spray painted them in white. And to give them an ombre effect, I used metallic gold spray paint and I spray paint them from far away. By spray painting them this way, it just gives them a hint of gold. Once they were dry, I started pulling the flowers and the leaf off the vines and I glued them on top and underneath the styrofoam. I had some metallic gold flowers from a previous project and I added them on to make the white stand out. I also glued on crystal beads around the inside of the hoop. I really do love the way the chandelier turned out and what I love the most is it looks very vintage but glamorous at the same time. Just for a little bit of imagination, love and crafting, who knew that a pool noodle and a hula hoop can look this chic. And let's not forget how glamorous and beautiful this looks with the lights off. I made this for my mother for Mother's Day. Do you think she'll like it or love it? Leave a comment below. My mother always wanted a chandelier with a vintage style for her makeup room. But what do you guys think?
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload. And happy Mother's Day.